Boat 11 was lowered under Murdoch's supervision at 1.35 a.m. with able seaman Sidney Humphreys in charge. By now the lifeboats were being filled much closer to capacity, and Boat 11 is estimated to have carried about 70 people. One occupant, Stuart James Witter, was knocked into the boat by a hysterical woman whom he was helping aboard as it was lowered. First-class passenger Edith Louise Rosenbaum, a Paris-based correspondent for Women's Wear Daily, brought along her toy pig, a music box that played the Marshisha and had been given to her as a good luck token by her mother. She was too frightened to enter the lifeboat, but when a crew member, mistaking her toy for a baby, tossed it in, she leaped in after it. The toy pig is now part of the collection of the National Maritime Museum in London. Second-class passenger Nellie Becker protested her way into lifeboat number 11, after an officer placed her son and younger daughter in the boat. She was initially prohibited from entering by Murdoch, who felt the boat was already too full, but eventually made her way aboard. In the chaos, however, her elder daughter Ruth was left behind and was instructed by Murdoch to head for lifeboat number 13. On reaching the water, lifeboat number 11 was nearly swamped by a jet of water being pumped out from the ship to stem the flooding. Tempers flared among the crowded passengers, some of whom had to stand, as the boat was rowed away from the ship. Rosenbaum offered some levity by using her musical pig to entertain the children underfoot. The lifeboat was met by Carpathia at about 7 a.m. Thank you for listening, and if you would like to hear more biographies, please leave a comment below and perhaps give a thumbs up and subscribe to help my channel. Thank you again for listening.